guys, I'm here with a tutorial that you guys requested in my last video, which was the 40 Beauty Questions tag. I used the Revlon Colorstay. This is one of their 12-hour eyeshadow quads in Coffee Bean. I'm not too sure if they still sell this. This is by no means a new quad to me. I've had this for almost over a year now, but it's just a really nice kind of deeper neutrals colors, and you guys really wanted to see that, as well as this kind of bright berry lip. So if you would like to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. So you're going to want to start off by priming your eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I use this in every tutorial, but it's like my favorite primer of all time. And I'm just going to blend this color all the way up to the brow bone, in the inner corner, as well as a little bit under the lower lashes. Then I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Yogurt, which is just like a nice kind of creamy champagne color. I'm not too sure if you can see the color. And I'm just making a small line right up against the lashes instead of just blending it all over the lid. And I'm just going to take my finger and pull that color up just a little bit to create kind of a small champagne shimmer effect. Nothing too crazy, but this will be a nice base. The quad we're going to be using is this Revlon Colorstay 12 hour eyeshadow quad in Coffee Bean and it looks like this, they're really really pretty kind of deeper neutral colors. I'm going to start by taking my Sonia Kashuk flat eyeshadow brush in this second color up from the bottom. This is like a rusty kind of a deep brown, it's the only shimmer color in this quad. So we're just going to pick up a little bit of this because these colors are so creamy and silky and it, they're really pigmented, they're really easy to work with so I'm just going to pick up a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to start in the middle of the eye, just placing this down, and then I'm just going to drag it all over the lid from there. Then I'm just going to be using a blending brush, this is just a My Glam one, and just kind of blend out that color, because it is a little deep for my taste. Then I'm taking this Sonia Kasha crease brush in the second color from the top. This is a light taupe color. I love these colors. They're so easy to work with. And this is going to be our best friend color, so it's going to be really easy to kind of blend out the rest of them. So I'm just going to place this color, just windshield wiper motions, into my crease. Then I'm going to be taking this Avon pencil brush. It's called like a rounded shadow brush, but it's really a pencil brush. And the bottom color, which is a deep brown, but it has a little bit of a purple to it. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this color and place it on the outer one-third, blending it kind of into the outer crease to create that smoky effect. And with whatever's left on your brush, you can just drag a little bit under the lashes. I'm just going to take this Urban Decay eyeshadow brush. It came with my Naked palette, and I'm just taking the top color, which is a nice kind of cream ivory matte shade. Just going to pick up some of that and use it as an under the brow bone highlight. And this will just blend down the colors, I think. Also just going to place it on the inner tear duct area as well to highlight that. Next, for my liner, I don't want to use something that's too dark and too black because I don't want it to take away from the kind of rich browns of the shadows. So I'm going to use kind of a lighter black shade. This is the Marbella Permanent Eyeliner Pen. This came in one of my My Glam bags and everybody said it was super dark, but for me, mine is not dark at all. So I'm just going to kind of create a little bit of a wing, nothing too serious, just a little bit of a wing. You could even skip this step if you don't like liner. And then for my waterline, I'm going to be using this Ulta Eyeliner Pencil in Deep Brown. I'm going to take it on the waterline, but on the outer edge, I'm going to smudge it between the lashes to kind of add a little bit more brown there. Even though we did put the shadow there, it's going to add just a little bit more smokiness, I guess, smudginess to the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to curl my lashes, and for those of you that have been asking, this is a Revlon Lash Curler. For mascara, I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this stuff. I've raved about this so many times. And I'm just going to directly apply this. As well as put some on the lower lashes. Like always, I'm going to double up on mascara. So next I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. That's it for your eyes. For the cheeks, I kind of want to warm them up a bit, not add like a bright pink. I want to kind of make them semi the same with the eyes. So I'm using this LA Girl Blusher in Natural. I believe I used this color in my last tutorial as well. It's just a really nice natural like brown br uh, brown 
blush and I'm using this elf complexion brush to apply it and I'm kind of going to contour it in for a highlight I want to use something not very glowy because I don't want this look to be very bright and in your face so I'm using a this is just a sample of benefits high beam And then for the lips, everybody said they loved my lip color and it's something I've never done before. I don't think I've ever put myself on camera with this kind of a lip. And I used the Stila Lip Glaze in Tropical Punch. And it's like a berry purple color, but when it comes on the lips, it almost looks like the color of my cardigan. It's very like uh, rusty, purpley. It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to use some of this on my lips. And this is just one of those twist ups. So that's it for the look. I hope you guys enjoy and maybe can try it out if you can find the Revlon Quad or I'm sure you have other colors that are similar. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!